Nordstrom's has that really good return policy. Even if you've worn the thing 18 times and have no idea in your pile of receipts which one might go to that pile of stuff that you're returning, what if I told you that the universe's return policy is even better than Nordstrom's? That you can return piles of crap built up over years. Shame and pain and mistakes and regrets and betrayals and fears and anxiety. No questions asked, no problem. Would you be in? Hope so. Guess what? You can. You can return all that stuff because Spirit is the best customer service rep Ever. A canvas is the return counter. It's a portal into your heart for all the wishes and desires of your heart, the reason you came into this life in the first place. A paintbrush is a magic wand, a prayer stick, a lightsaber. Paint is the color of life, the rainbow of life, and your creative life force has every solution you need, every answer to every prayer. What if love is the essence of the universe and beauty is her expression and it's your turn and for the record no talent is required to do a creative process you just need to be breathing and have stuff to return who of us doesn't right pile your stuff on the counter sign the return slip with your magic wand take a wink from spirit and leave with the purse of your heart filled with the abundance and bounty and plenty and good that is yours and that stuff is the perfect mud from which to blossom yourself, just like the lotus flower does. You probably know this story, but the beautiful lotus flower lifts itself up from the light of the universe out of dark, dank mud. Mud it grows from. Your stuff is the mud, and you're that blossom. Let's go. In Chinese medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, we have the gift of being offered uh, ancient wisdom in our modern, modern times. So the five elements according to the Chinese medical model are fire, earth, metal or air, water, and wood. And all of those elements, we can find ourselves in every single one of those elements. It's basically nature. Nature is the five elements, and we are nature, therefore we are the five elements. The five elements are basically the foundation of who we are as a human being on earth. And so a practitioner of Chinese medicine anyway, would look at, look at your circumstances and your symptoms from a five element perspective and, and ask herself or himself, what's out of balance in what element, what has too much, what has too little, little, and then he or she will try to actually create more of a harmony between your elements. And that involves things like our nutrition, how well we sleep, how well we breathe, uh, whether we're able to stay focused on the things that matter to us, and actually our creative expression. All of those things are the foundation and create like a solid, um, stable base from which we can become more of ourselves and a stronger and more healthy human being. So here's the deal. Love is the only energy that heals. And does it seem like sometimes you might be sinking in the quicksand of fear, which is the opposite of love? Would you like a handout? Nothing outside of your own creative life force, the source of life that is you, your chi, which is love, can heal your ails. Nothing. Activate that intelligence residing in every cell of your body and you awaken vitality, ease, abundance, and love. Period. It has been in my darkest hours, most unhealthy, broken, depressed states that has taught me this truth. It works every time and it works for anyone who engages in creative healing, you included. Listen, I've spent 28 years as a practitioner of Chinese medicine, and the ones who heal are the ones who transform anger into compassion, including self-compassion, because the Buddha said that if your compassion does not include yourself, it's incomplete. Transform sadness into a heartful joy, worry into trust, anxiety into faith and ease confusion into focus, not enough into plenty, resistance into release, re release and powerlessness into uh, courage. It's your design, it's in your programming, and it's true for every human being. All you have to do is turn it on and I will show you how. 
I'd be happy to. Together we'll learn how to creatively access self-compassion, how to creatively transform tension and anxiety into ease and pre present moment serenity, and even pleasure that doesn't require sex, wine, or chocolate. Have you ever thought about the idea that as humans, we've come to the end of the road, so to speak? If you haven't noticed, nobody is coming to save either of us. Not our doctor, not the government, nothing outside of us is going to save us. Certainly, outside assistance can be helpful, but only if we're each centered in ourself and connected to the life force. The creative flow that beats our heart, pumps our blood, and digests our food all day, every day. There's no way around it. You can keep pretending otherwise, but it'll just make for more suffering. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. Let's compost that suffering and make ourselves some fertile soil, shall we? Some mud? Stay with me and I'll show you how. If you care about the suffering of the world, and most of us do, there's nothing you can offer of any value until you bring your own suffering to the light of truth. Then you'll be alchemizing the energy into something of profound value for yourself and for others. I'm an alchemist. I can teach you alchemy. It's what we're supposed to be doing at this point in human consciousness. Transforming, transmuting, and alchemizing energy that no longer serves so we have access to energy that does. So we can restore, renew, and bring forth solutions and ideas for our beautiful earth and all of her inhabitants. If that doesn't juice you up, this probably isn't the right video for me, for you, but for me, <laughs> I realize that there's nothing more worthy of my attention than cultivating myself as one who creates anew for the purpose of adding love, beauty, and wholeness to our world. And if that juices you up, then stay with me and we'll take a wonderful journey together.